Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to you from wherever you are joining us. It is my ego. Brunch time. Live. Please read the caption of this uh, broadcast. Read the description as well. Quickly, like it. Then share it. To invite your friends and not so friendly friends. Tell all of them. That's according to Bayo Onokunuga, long throat, 70 year old social media special advisor to Tifnumbu, has now pointed the official finger at uh, Peter Obi, IPOB, obedient as those who are organizing national protests in Nigeria. What for what? I will take you to what he said. This is how they uh, blow the dog whistle. And then they spread their tribal aid and their other divisive rhetorics. But doing so as a government, Nigeria is not far from the old Rwanda. <laughs> when the government officially began to set up their citizens, tag them something because you wanted them to be targeted. Possibly killed. Good morning to you once again and good afternoon to you. You are welcome to the temple uh, this morning. So there's a new development from Nigeria. It seems, among other sort of uh, activated machineries to get uh, those who are organizing or mobilizing for protests against bad governance or bad government in Nigeria, it seems the government of uh, Tifnumbu, the regime, the illegitimate regime of Tifnumbu, it seems they are running out of all options. They are running out of using pseudos to fan the ember of uh, hatred, tribal hatred, tribal division. When uh, Ali Undume said, he called the attention of those who are working with Tifnumbu to the plight of the people. People are suffering. People are hungry. And people are angry. And the response he got from them was that uh, no, that is the work of the opposition. Now, they have activated different, you know, agents who are already trying to plant doubt here and there, threaten, intimidate, including the Ronu terrorists, the Ronu coups. But the 70-year-old social media special advisor to Kolu Onofunuga went on a tirade this morning. Uh, as special advisor to President, is he has set the stage now for what is still to come. So, you know, let's go check what for what, right? This morning, Onofunuga was uh, on his uh, Twitter, where, as usual, he was blowing the, the dog whistle, the dog whistle for the Ronukus to have a reason and who to go after. As we all know, it's been the northern Nigeria that has been promoting this protest. Okay, they have been the ones started and all that. 
And the people that are actually calling for protest in Nigeria are the people that claims to have uh, brought Ifunugu to power. But Onofunuga completely ignored that. And it went on this set I read this morning. I read them like, you know, let's go take a look. But let me embody it so that maybe you can see that too on your screen. It should. It's grand. He said, revealed. This is a special advisor to the president of uh, Nigeria. Peter Obi's supporters are the people planning mayhem in Nigeria. Obi should be held responsible for anarchy. Don't be fooled. The malcontent planning to stage nationwide protests are supporters of Peter Obi, which is not true, misleading. And it's pretty much like they are setting the stage for the possible civil war in Nigeria too. So sometimes we need to remind all of you, the Ronukus, you know, you can keep digging and keep digging and keep pushing and keep pushing your tribal, ethnic, and other uh, rhetorics, okay? When the flame comes, oh dear, oh dear, you won't be spared. Don't think you will be spared, right? But here I said, the protest planners are also the same people who were instigated by IPOB leader. Namdekanu, to launch the destructive NSAS protest in Nigeria in October. He said Namdekanu was the one who launched NSAS protest. Another misinformation, mis, uh, misleading uh, statement from, the, from somebody who is a, a special advisor to president of a country. Lies. And this is how they blow the dog whistle, right? Watch. I'm going to be jumping a few of them, okay? said, IPOB, hang on, it said IPOB members planning to extricate the Southeast region from Nigeria infiltrated the protest and hijack it for their own agenda. Lagos still bears the scar of the malicious destruction by IPOB elements until today. Those who invaded the palace of Oba in Lagos, they were all Yorubas. The thugs hired to attack protesters, they were Yorubas, APC, Egbe, Egbe. So where exactly is IPOB? But this is how they kind of like continue to push the rhetorics that will continue to push the hatred, the hate. And now they used to do that when they were not in government. Now they are in government. It's now official. Go on. It said two years after answers, the IPOB and the Golibu Innocent joined the Labour Party in 2022. Eh? Again, another lie. Mind you, he is only setting the stage. They are the people spreading the hashtag end bad government governance. Tinumbu must go and revolution 2024. Yowore is the creator of all these hashtags. And he is not Igbo. He is not IPOB. And he is not Peter Obi supporter. Right on. She said, they are attempting to call out our people via propaganda. Because their messiah, Peter Obi, failed to win the presidency in 2023. As bad losers, they don't have the patience to wait for another election in 2027. They would rather destabilize Nigeria by staging a civilian coup against President Bola Tifnumbu. Another lie. I hope the whole world is kind of seeing this. Because this is how they set a stage for genocide, civil war. And then they will then turn around and accuse other people of doing it. This is somebody who, who is a spokesperson, special advisor to president of a country. Who, now, and I'm, I, I am reading this also that I want you to kind of not see this as another eh? Here are Nigerians who are saying they are fed up and tired. And they are tired of bad governance. And everybody is feeling it right now. In northern eh, Nigeria, who kickstarted this? And even pick the dates. Eh? They are not mentioned here. Now, let's continue. He said, if they understand the meaning of the hashtags, they will realize they are clearing cause for treason. Wanting to end an elected government is high treason. Wanting revolution is a call for coup d'etat, which is also high treason. Now, you see how many times he used treason in that same paragraph, right? The people that are calling uh, the end to bad governance, they are calling that uh, Tifnumbu should firm up, sack the loafers, freeloaders like uh, this ass liquor. 
on Ofunuga, right? So, and here you are, like they did in Kenya, gaslighting the citizens, calling them names, calling them being sponsored by opposition, ignoring every other thing that they're asking for, ignoring all of them, rubbishing them until it is too late. Here, he said, I have been on the trail of one of the protest planners who is nameless but claims to have an internet radio station, PTM 100.88 FM Abuja. He didn't know who is the owner of the FM, right? But he said the anonymous, the anonymous person joined X Twitter in August 2022 and has 520 followers today, among whom are uh, FS Yusuf, uh, another Rabbi Dobi supporter, and Professor Patrick Tommy, Labour Party chief, and a guy on X who goes by the pseudonym Peter Obi's first son. So now he's found an account that he believes is organizing the protest. Okay. And he found the Peter Obi supporters among the followers. And straight away, that is Peter Obi. So he said in the past 24 hours, this faceless ex user has been, whip, I mean, whipping up the gullible to join the protest being planned and also posting activities of his messiah, Peter Obi. He retweets Peter Obi often. In one of the posts, a video shows a teenager who is said to be in the north printing T-shirts and blossomed with, I mean, blossomed with uh, end bad governance in Nigeria, 2024, right? So he said, there is also a retweeted, now this is now picking on those who actually shared or retweeted anything that has to do with end bad governance. Uh, what do you call it? Arrest all the criminals, revolution now. So every one of them that possibly shared, liked, anything to do with it. That I also has connection with Toby. They are considered as those organizing. She worried that it's every day for the past two weeks calling for this. It's not even mentioned though. Right? Now, he said, another member of the my content is Brother Bernard. Uh, in fact, I, let me just skip all of uh, those uh, calling because here he said, according to our law, Men of the armed forces don't protest. An ex user reminded him. So he posted a sarcastic response. Okay, that's about the soldiers who are also like, you know, telling people that stand up, oh, this Olori Brukus, we are tired of them too. Eh? He said, security agents should by now begin to interrogate this agent of destabilization. Now, this is how it works now. Okay. Peter Obi and anybody that uh, supports Peter Obi that is also supporting. The uh, call for protest, right? Uh, they are all one. Uh, they are IPOB. They are Peter Obi supporters. In fact, they are being uh, sponsored by Peter Obi. So, which means security agents should begin to interrogate them, including Peter Obi. That is where we are going, right? So, accused, they said, there is no country in the world where people are not going through some economic challenges. And where the cost of living is not a major issue. No country is immune from economic turbulence at the moment. That's what they say to their ass lickers, okay? Or their voluntary slaves. The ones that they will tell them that don't join them. There's no country in the world that is not facing it. Don't mind them. Everybody is facing the same thing. How many countries have you here in the world that are pay, uh, buying billions of uh, their currency, using billions of their currencies? to buy cars or build houses for their politicians. How many countries in the world? Eh? How many? Okay. He said, excuse me. He said, uh, civilized and democratic people wait for another election. What election? Do you actually have elections? Anyway, he said, they don't trigger mayhem in their countries by staging protests, the end of which nobody can predict. Yes, nobody will be able to predict this, right? So he said, Nigeria citizens must consider the government's attitude and concern about the cost of living crisis. Attitude and concern, really. We, 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 we understand that you are suffering. Okay, don't worry. We know you are suffering. Is that the attitude and concern, right? So he said, when deciding whether to join the protest by the Labour Party and IPOB supporters, you see that? That is called dog whistle. 
put it in their conscious mind. Hey, if you go join protest, so you are joining IPOB. You are joining a uh, Labour Party. You are joining the Igbos. You are joining this. Cha, try to again blame the Igbos. When the same on this same platform, I mean social media platforms, eh, we are seeing thousands of uh, different uh, profiles telling people, telling Igbo people not to join or Igbo don't join, Igbo don't participate or ignore all of that because he is speaking directly to their base, the Ronukus, the Ronu Nazis. The Ronu Agberos, the Ronu terrorists, dog wizu, do everything. Oh, eh? Is remember how we told you, the Igbo people, they want to, they want to make sure that they control you. Oh. They are back. Oh, they are the one organizing protests. Oh, ignoring all of the cleric, Islamic cleric uh, in northern Nigeria, who are making hundreds and hundreds and thousands of videos right now on TikTok, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Telling everybody that they should get ready. Protest is, uh, is not haram. They ignore all of that because the easy targets, the Igbos, the ones that they have lied to their, to their base for so long is blowing the whistle to them. And they have heard him. They've heard him. They've already said, there will be no protest anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say you get it. Come, come in. He said, the Tifnumbu's uh, illegitimate regime has not been found wanting in this regard. The minimum wage has been increased by more than 100%. Electricity tariff has been increased by over 300%. Food inflation has been increased by over 500%. So what the hell is he talking about? He said loans are being disbursed to students in tertiary schools. A lie. A credit corporation has been launched to promote consumption credit. Lie. Palliative sharing of rice, including the latest distribution of 740 trucks of rice to the 36 states of Abuja. Another lie. There is no 740 trucks anywhere. Do you understand? There is no 740 trucks going to any 36 states. Another lie. Now, he said, the federal uh, government and state government are investing heavily in agriculture to produce more food. Another lie. They are planning to import food and they have been advised that's going to further destroy the agricultural sector of Nigeria. Another lie. 70 year old man liar. He said the economy is improving. Era, era, inflation is slowing. Array. The inflation just increased to 34 points, uh, something percent in the official figure just about a week ago. These guys met inflation in Nigeria at 7.2% inflation. That was what these guys met. Eh? When Bokwari left last year, he pegged the inflation at 22%. That's eight years of Bokwari. Inflation jumped up by over 15%. On that Tifnumbu, within a year, inflation has jumped by 12 point some 13%. In their own figure, ah, Ugu killed this man, man. Anyway, he continued. He said, the FIRS has increased revenue because you are taxing people. Triple taxation with nothing to show. Investors are coming back to our country. Lies. Name how many investors you have. You've had. Nobody wants to make a deal with a drug dealer. Nobody. Nobody wants to deal with a country that has no law. That has no real judiciary. Come on, man. He said, President Tifnumbu has a four-year mandate. No, he doesn't. He stole it. And it's just about... I don't think it's about a snatch and run with it only. I think it's going to need more than that to keep it for that four years. And I think that's the journey about to start now. The baptismal of fire. 70 year old man, Bayon of Funuga. I need to show you his, uh, what it looks like. Right? Give me a sec. I need to show you what it looks like so that at least I'm going to. So at least you can, uh, what do you call it? You can. Uh, See his face. Who is that uh, person? Is uh, one horrible old man. That's his face. On Ofunuga. He's a 70 year old social media special advisor to Tifnumbu. Yeah. Tifnumbu is said to be 70. What? Tifnumbu is around 80, right? However, Onofunuga is about 70. And he's. Uh, 
the number one big. Sorry, I don't know that's the music. That's him. Right? And these are people who are spreading and planting all of uh, these tribal, ethnic, they are irresponsible people who never want to take responsibility for anything. So entitled and so empty. So when you try to hold them responsible, they turn it into a, into a tribal thing. That's how they have lived their, their lives. These are the, uh, what do you call These are the kids. You can say these are the teenagers that uh, continue that Nigeria genocidal war in their head. It's been working for them politically. But they are about to probably have another rude uh, shock. Talking about the northern Nigeria, the people that are really planning it. Hmm? Here is a young man he mentioned. In that is a diet. In Azona, Okisna Paga design Gayan and Nalogo and End Ban Naton Chiton to follow the Apitas and Gazanga Gan and Degota. Nangana and Naki design in near Achung computer and Adoming in Aso Aiken Yapataso, say by Nagama design and Gayan and Nai French and Nishi, by Nai French and Gayukun and Dazaman Namoa had the Hulan and Su. Majesu Gana Nasa Gigana at Kim Mashun Domo and Buga Aiken, the Nayan Gayana, Nasa Gigan, then the Kupi Pandalansa and Aiki, by Nasa already now Haganagam of French and the Gigan Gayan and Zambu, the Raku Gain, the Gigan Taito, so say Gayana Nabu, the Natural Pepan, the Nasaga, Aiken, Nangwa, Gaskiawana, Aiken, Yaiko, Nika, and Anayabadona, Aiki, Gayana Commander Kujagarina, Gigan Negatan, and Natagata, twenty twenty four in Allah, Dona, the Afuta, Agana, the Goten, Jun, Kenan, Gayana Na, Ijeta, by Naja Gigan Gayan. Of course, in a chibaga and the co who lashima and buga by nagama I check you go and gana and the cookie gani gagan nan non kumagash in a printing uh sa logo at chung hula and gayan command the wiki gani gaan the logo and nefu to wow shima for ya echo so say wal lai naganina for the domain nasa and I aiki mecho away and nan kanga hula nan na chini ma pasina and tana akena by nagama printing no hula se me gagiamana majezua Next, I will never be going to another nagam of Aiken Sugaba. I keep telling you, so I saw a lot of companies now. When the anger is going to achieve one, another company, MJ Talent, up to come out with a new name. Galo, one company, now, 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 Wear smart sneakers. Get yourself, uh, you know, gas mask to prevent if you are if you have any health conditions, right? It means you get uh, to uh, disorganized uh, places. Just say to the medical team. There will be medical team around and all of that stuff. Get yourself some protective bed gears too, okay? Or print t-shirt, print paste card, print whatever you can print and bring it all along with you. That's what. Uh, they are currently planning in northern Nigeria. Do you know why? Do you know why the Tifnumbus uh, people are about to enter panic mode? Currently, they are still grandstanding. I mean, sorry, grandstanding. So, what would Tifnumbu do if he wasn't your president and then uh, as an opposition? Nigeria is facing what you have right now. Eh? Take a look at this. So I'll show you something. In 2014, you remember 2014? That time they told you that Nigeria made so much money from crude oil, but things were still expensive. Eh? That you are still hungry, people are starving, people are like hungry, dying. Because good luck, Billy Jolantan was looting the money. Remember that 2014. And then they told you that Nigeria economy was valued at uh, over $560 billion as the worth of Nigeria economy. Eh? Where your Naira still has so add value, right? I mean, if you have to look back right now, a lot of you will be like, God damn it, man. It was better, wasn't it? Let me show you what the uh what the data says in 2014 nigeria economy was the biggest in the entire africa 568.5 billion south africa was second with 381.2 billion in south africa yeah 
they have a weapon manufacturing companies there that are manufacturing weapons so but still Nigeria was doing better more people have jobs and all of that stuff people were still suffering though right Egypt was a third Algeria fourth and Gula fifth by 2023 nine years after that I'll say eight years of Bokwari where Egypt improved their own see from 321, they got to 393. South Africa also improved. Sorry, South Africa also kind of uh, downgraded. They remained second though, but they, were, they lost. The economy faced something there. But look at Nigeria. See that distance. From 568 billion to 374 billion. That's massive. And that was when Nigeria became the economy, I mean, the poverty capital of the world. Now, let's now go to between 2023 and 2024. Nigeria has dwindled further. And it is obvious. You can feel it. Like you can feel it. You are living there. Even if you are not living there, right? You have families there. Nigeria economy has shrunk further. So which means in nine years, under the APC, Nigeria lost over $300 billion worth of uh, their economic value. In nine years. That's all you need to know. Why is every 